Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you saw my last video comparing the Nokia Gateway 12 to the Vantiva Cobra, you know I was dealing with those frustrating Wi-Fi drops. Well, today I'm sharing uh, how I worked around it. So I reached out to uh, Roger's technical support about the Wi-Fi disconnections. I told them it was happening way too often, even with a strong cellular signal. They said they hadn't heard many complaints like that which surprised me a bit. I asked if they could push firmware update remotely, since I couldn't do it manually in the app or at local admin setup web page. But no, they don't handle that. It's all automatic. For the cellular side, they mentioned drops might just mean my area isn't fully optimized for 5G. But since it was mostly Wi-Fi issues, they figured the device could be the problem. All right, so they sent me a replacement Nokia Gateway 12 to try out. No hassle there. Unboxing this new one is exactly like the first. I just need to swap in the SIM from my original Nokia and setup was the same. The light cycled through blue, blinking green, red flashes, solid yellow, you know, that whole process. Took about 20 minutes to stabilize, just like before. Once it settled, I got a solid green for good 5G connection. But here's the thing, after five days of testing, the Wi-Fi drops didn't go away completely. They were less frequent, maybe once a day instead of every hour, but still there. I'd also get these um, odd slowdowns where Wi-Fi stayed connected with full bars, but data just stalled for five to 10 seconds before coming back. Happened a couple times and I've never seen that on my Ventiva since the new device had the same issues. I don't think it's a hardware defect. It feels more like a firmware glitch or something in how the device is designed that led me to suspect the tri-band Wi-Fi setup. The Nokia's Wi-Fi 7 switches between 2.4 GHz for range and 5 GHz and 6 GHz for speed, called band steering. And maybe that's mishandling things, causing drops, even up close. Could be interference or just software bugs. I'm no expert, so don't quote me on this. To test, I logged into the local network settings and started turning off bands. First, I disabled 5 GHz and 6 GHz bands, leaving only 2.4 GHz on. No drops at all, and the signal felt strong, kind of like my Vantiva. The downside? Speeds dropped to about 18 to 19 megabits per second down, and uh, 4 megabits per second up. Not ideal for much beyond basics, so I turned 5 GHz band back on, and kept 6 GHz off and retested. The downloading speed jumped to around 100 megabits per second. Better, but still not the 200 to 300 megabits per second downloading speed I got with everything enabled. It's a trade-off. More reliable connections, but you lose some top-end speed. You know, if that's okay for your setup, give it a try. But I wanted full speed without the headaches. So, I dug out my old Netgear router it's over 10 years old, nothing fancy. I connected it to the Nokia with a high-speed Ethernet cable, rated for up to 40 gigabits per second, 2000 megahertz, basically bridge mode. Nokia pulls the 5G data and the Netgear handles the Wi-Fi broadcasting. Disable Wi-Fi on the Nokia and let the old router do its thing. And get this, speed test came back at 398 megabits per second down. Way better than I expected from such an ancient router. No drops, good range, and it feels solid. Who knew an old backup would fix a brand new device? That's my go-to workaround now. Stable Wi-Fi without slowing things down. One more quick test I tried, just out of curiosity. Swapping SIM cards between the Nokia and Vantiva. Roger said not to, since they're tied to specific devices, but I wanted to see what happens. 
it sort of worked. Both got data, but speeds tanked. Vantiva with a new SIM. Only 77 to 86 megabits per second down. Nokia with the old SIM, around 84 to 103 megabits per second down. Uploads were all over, like uh, 3 to 7 megabits per second. Interesting, but yeah, not worth it. Speeds dropped by half or more, so don't bother unless you're experimenting. Let me quickly wrap up here. Uh, the Nokia has great potential for speed, but those Wi-Fi problems make the Ventiva more reliable day to day. Uh, if you're hitting connection drops, try the band disable or bridging a spare router. It worked for me. Contact Rogers too. Uh, they were helpful with the replacement. What about you? Are you dealing with similar issues? Leave a comment. If this helps, please subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching and see you next time.